end of the day in the studio. Can you hear me? Project my voice. Okay, I'm learning. Uh, so, I worked on this much today. It got a little late start because doctor visits. But, um, I, if you've been following this, I've got different armatures on today. So, I actually removed the armature before I had an armature that went and the hips right here. And I removed that one so that I could start uh, carving that form up and getting all that, getting that nice negative space happening in there, which I couldn't do with that armature in the way. I also had a, a, an armature in the middle of the back, and um, I uh, removed that one too. Uh, in place of the one that's holding up the legs, I have this hook kind of thing. And it's adjustable, this, in several places. But you see, it's just a curved piece of metal that hooks around the leg because the legs are, are really hard now. So I just needed it to come this way a bit. And so the nice thing is, with that is I can hook around and pull it a little bit to get it standing a little straighter. She had a little bit of a lean. The other thing I did today was I cut her in half. Yeah, I did. Uh, with this armature in place, I just cut her completely at the waist and I twisted her and leaned her back a little bit. And then I put this new armature in, uh, which is one of my fork armatures, uh, off to the side so I could carve on the, um, and form the back of the shoulder holding the bag so I could get to the back of the bag and, and work on that. What else did I do? Refined uh, the muscles in the legs. Uh, I'm still working on that. Refine the forms. So I took off an awful lot of clay. It's, the knees are thinner, the ankles are thinner. Um, everything's a little bit thinner and more elongated, which is what I wanted, that kind of model type uh, skin. And this is wrapped with cloth and plastic so that I'll be able to finish sculpting that hand hopefully tomorrow after I finish this arm. I'll move this arm around too for a little bit. I actually took the whole head off. Um, I thought it was going to get the carving on it, but didn't really get to too much mess with the nose and the upper lip. That's about it. And the eye sockets. So hopefully tomorrow I'll, I'll cut that uh, head off. Again, I shorten the neck and uh, put it in my hands and refine it. She's going to have sunglasses and headphones. Oh, I have a photo of the model. I'll show you. Let me see. So can you see? Okay. So you see that? Can you see the headphones? Yeah. And the, and the sunglasses. And there's my model. Uh, so. So I have a book of pictures that I can work from to look at the muscles. And also, I have this handy dandy thing. It's nice, the arms pull off, the head pulls off, and one side is muscle, so one side is skin covered. I would prefer that it would be one side muscle and one side skeleton, heck, with the skin covering it, because that would be more useful, but I couldn't find one like that. Found this one online on eBay, <coughs> marked down. Okay, and I added some more of the radiant red underglaze right, as I carve things back. I reintroduce it because I'll, it informs the narrative for me, shows me where I'm going. That's all the news is fit to print. Did this go long? Four minutes. Hmm, maybe I should do it again. Shorter.